Hello, this is Munir Ajam recording another uh, video on the I Smile series. Uh, this video I'm recording from Dubai Knowledge Park, previously known as Dubai Knowledge Village, where our offices are based and there are a few universities around here. So I decided to do this from uh, this uh, video from outside and have a bit of humor. The first one of the first blog we posted when we started blogging about four or five years ago was about um, the terminology we use sometime in project management that is quite mortal. For example, what's the difference between implementation and execution? Obviously, if you read some of the American literatures like on project management from the Project Management Institute, for example, um, they use the word executing process groups or execution phase sometime we hear as well. Whereas ISO 21500 on project management use the word implementing or implementation. So, why would we execute a project? Obviously here, you know, we open our terminology a bit and look at execution meaning capital punishment, which is of course in many states in the North America and the uh, USA. Uh, capital punishment is still a practice where in Europe, capital punishment execution is not allowed anymore. So American, when we talk about projects, they said let's execute a project, while European says let's implement the project. Well, what else? Some of the wonderful terminology we use in project management. Stage gate. Prince 2 and the British use the term stage gate to represent the stage gate process on the project life cycle, where some of the literature we've seen or some of the slang we've seen um, reference to the stage gates is the kill points. So, of, so far, what have we learned? We execute project, and maybe if we're not successful in execute them, we kill them at some point along that life cycle. Well, what else we do? Well, a term we use in uh, developing the work breakdown structure of a project is called decomposition. So, of course, decomposition is usually, uh, you know, when somebody is dead, the body is decomposed. But interesting enough is when we talk about planning is when we use decomposition. So before we kill the project, we decompose it. How that happen? I have no idea. So we decompose the project while we're planning it, and then we might decide to kill it. And if we decide not to kill it, then we execute it. Wonderful. Then what happened at the end? Well, assuming the project is finished, we do a post-mortem. You know, post-mortem is a term we use sometime to refer to post-project reviews or assessment of the project success or failure after, you know, the project is finished, assessing lessons learned. So, what do we call it? Post-mortem. We've also hear about, to give you more fun with some of these words, is pre-mortem. This is a term I've heard the first time about a couple of years ago. I said, hmm, I know what post-mortem is, but what is pre-mortem? It turned out to be is another fancy term for risk assessment. So before we kill the project or execute it or decompose it, why don't we try to figure out yeah, what could go wrong or what could happen or what are some of the risks? Uh, basically, do an autopsy <laughs> on the project before it's over. What else? Crushing, I love that word. Yeah, if we have a project, the schedule longer than what management wants, what do we do? Let's crush it. Hopefully there is a wall big enough to allow us to crush without killing or executing or decomposing. Have fun, we'll talk again.